Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Wednesday, so let's watch you working on Wednesday. It's later in the day. <laughs> I always want to do my videos in the mornings, but I always am busy in the mornings now. And I haven't put out a video in a couple days because of life. But today I did start a new whip, and it's living in my cute bag that I just recently got from Brittany at Woolmakes. And um, she doesn't have any more like this in her shop, but she does have one more similar bag in her shop, and two little drawstring bags in her shop if you want to check them out i'll link it below and you can check it out but anyways um ah it's starting to whip so i the other day like last time you saw this bag it had my goose in it but i finished my goose and now it's got something new in it so i just started it it's actually a pattern that i bought so i just paid for a pattern i had um like a visa gift card with a little bit of money still left on it so i've been using it to buy patterns <laughs> so i bought this pattern it's called the trendy puff sleeve sweater by ac crochet club and i got it from etsy i don't know if they have other shops but i just happened to find it on etsy and i read the uh what is it called the reviews first because <laughs> last etsy pattern i bought i wasn't happy with it at all um but i printed it out so that I wouldn't have to keep bringing up my phone and looking at it so I can work on it like when June is napping and I'm trying to be quiet. <laughs> uh, and yeah, so it, it comes, it has it written sizes for extra small through 3XL. But um, from what I've read, because I just kind of skimmed through it, <laughs> it's easily, um, you could easily, uh, <laughs> I can't think of the word. You can easily like uh, change the pattern to fit your body if you're, uh, bigger than 3XL or smaller than extra small. But uh, yeah, so anyways, I'm gonna make the extra large size. I hope that fits me. <laughs> um, we'll see. <laughs> but the yarn that I'm using to make it is I got recently gifted uh, five skeins of Red Heart Super Saver stripes, retro stripe, which I love this color. Uh, so I got gifted um, five skeins and then I had like a half ball of my own left. Um, this isn't it. This is a whole skein that I wanted to ball because I like working with balls. But, um, anyways, so that's enough. That should be enough to make the size because I did calculate it. It's use it. You use, uh, Jean's crying, but Devin's in there. You use worsted weight yarn on it and, uh, a K hook, which is a 6.5 millimeter. And, um, it says it has it on gram, it written in grams here, but, uh, before. I bought the pattern, I uh, calculated it in yards of how much I need, and I have more than enough of this to make it should. And I actually made a gauge swatch. I took a picture of it because I sent it to my friend Phyllis, but I'll insert it. I actually made a gauge swatch, so all you people who do that should be proud of me. And it was right. It was accurate. It was supposed to be 12 single crochets by 13 rows. Should have been a 4 inch square or whatever, measured 4 inches. And it did both ways. So I was very proud of myself. <laughs> but uh, so I made that and then I ripped it out. And then I started, you start with, it's made in two panels. And then um, you make the front panel, the back panel. And then you seam them together. And then you make the sleeves and cuffs and collar and all that attached to it. So it's like pretty much most sweater patterns. <laughs> but uh, anyways, so I just barely got started on it. I only have a little tiny bit done. I'm working on the first panel. <laughs> on the uh what's it called tram border and this is all i got so far <laughs> but i'm putting i have to do um 62 rows in the uh back loop only to make the ribbing and i'm putting one of these stitch markers every 10 rows so that i don't lose count i have 13 rows right now so um that way i can just you know 10 20 30 all the way up to 60 and uh know that it's the size it's supposed to be without having to like keep track of the rolls. So I am actually doing this part different than the pattern routes. The pattern has you doing it a different way. The I'm just doing back loop only single crochet because the way the pattern had it written was way too um not complicated but slow. And uh I was like yeah I'm not doing that because it would take me forever to do that. So I just ripped out what I started. I did like three rolls the way they wrote it and then I was like I'm not doing that. So I just it's the same effect essentially. Um so Either way, it's fine. I'm not worried. But yes, that's what I'm working on this Wednesday. This little sweater, which if you forgot, <laughs> it is called Trendy Puff Sleeve Sweater by AC Crochet Club on Etsy. And I got my little round thing of stitch markers <laughs> so that I can um, put them randomly. And this was $3.99 when I bought it. They might have a sale 
or it might have been on sale when I bought it. I'm not sure. <laughs> Usually, though, on Etsy, uh, if you see something that you want on Etsy, always add it to your cart and favorite it and then walk away for a minute. Because um, sometimes shop owners will send you a coupon code if you favorite an item or if you put something in your cart and then like close it out because uh, it's called an abandoned cart. And um, sometimes it's like 10 or 15% off. So then you can get that coupon code and use it on there and um, get a discount. I do that all the time. And I actually have done that before with some of my uh, bags that don't sell right away. The ones that like linger in the shop. I put a coupon code like that on or I just mark it like 15% off um, just to get rid of it. But yeah, so there's your little tip. Do that. <laughs> I always do that stuff on Etsy. I always favorite it and then put it in my cart and then I walk away. And then you usually get a, um, you can, it'll be on your update section of Etsy. Like when you first open the app or go to the page on the computer, it'll, um, it'll say that so-and-so sent you a coupon code and then you can apply it to cart or, um, yeah. But anyways, so I'm really excited about this sweater. I think it's going to be pretty. It is a cropped sweater, but again, the way the pattern is written, you could easily, um, make it longer if you wanted to. Um, I'm going to make it cropped to see how I like it. If I don't like it, then all I'm going to do is, um, make it longer because <laughs> you make the panels and then you make the shoulder parts, you know, so it's like straight up because you're working bottom up. And then you make the shoulder parts so I can basically do that and like measure it against my body to see how I feel about the length. And if I want it to be longer, all I gotta do is take out the shoulder part and add some more length to it. But I did get it because it is a cropped one, I wanted to make a cropped one, so we'll see how much I like it when I get to that part. But, anyways, that's what I'm working on. I'm gonna put my pattern back in here so I don't lose it. And I am just using a Susan Bates soft grip K in the picture of the swatch. I was using a different hook, but it was like. I don't know something about the metal of it I, I'm not sure if it's a clover because it doesn't have clover written on it mm -hmm. but it, it was in my bag with clover so I'm assuming it's a clover um I don't know the metal on it was like sticking kind of you know like the yarn wasn't going over it as good so I just pulled out one of my old trusty Susan Bates and uh, it's been working fine so that's what I'm working on this Wednesday I'll leave the pattern for it below I'll leave Brittany's shop down below and her YouTube channel check her out um and yeah, I guess that's it. So, well, are you guys working on? Let me know down below. Le feel free to leave any links or comments. Um, obviously, comments, <laughs> links or people's name, pattern names, whatever. Let me know what you're making for dinner tonight. I have a crock pot <laughs> recipe. Uh, it's a pork loin, and it's got like um, a gravy in it and potatoes because I love. I'm a meat and potatoes person. I can eat meat and potatoes every day and be happy. But um, so that it's done. Um, I just shredded up the pork. So, uh, that's what I'm making for dinner tonight. So, let me know what you're making. <laughs> Feel free to share any, um, links to pattern, or not patterns, recipes. And, because I like checking them out. And I'm trying really hard to cook more at home and quit getting food out. <laughs> because it's just easier to get takeout, you know. But, um, I'm trying to work hard on our budget. <laughs> because I, um, we've been spending a lot more since the baby was born on, um, food. And I want to cut that back down to normal. But yeah, so I guess that's everything. Uh, I don't have anything else to blab about. Tomorrow I'm going to do the 23 uh, non yarn thing tag. <laughs> I forgot what it's called. I was tagging it a few times and I keep meaning to do it and just haven't had the time. So I, I got it planned for tomorrow, so we'll see. And um, Friday I'm announcing the winner of the Scandi Yarn I'm giving away. And then this weekend, what am I doing this weekend? I need it. I have a Stitcher library um, project that I'm working on, but I'm not done with it. <laughs> I got a little bit more work on it than the other day, but I just haven't had time. Uh, with the baby and all, it's just been hard to squeeze in crochet time. But I'm going to hop off here and go see if Devin needs help with the baby <laughs> and then get some uh, dinner and eat it. It's Or it's like, I don't even know what time it is. <laughs> but uh, I will see you guys in another video. And I guess that's it. Bye, guys.